Have you seen a downturn in your traffic since the 21st of April? Google announced last year that it was going to change the way it sends traffic to different websites. This is called its algorithm. And without getting into too much jargon, basically what they've said is they want websites to be mobile friendly. Because mobile websites actually make up for more of the searches by your potential customers than desktop computers. So it's never been more important to get out there and have a website that works on a smartphone, a tablet and a desktop computer. Hi, I'm Lucy Ross, director at ecommercemarketing.co.nz and today I have a few tips for you on how to check firstly if this mobile apocalypse is affecting you and also where to get help. There are two places we can check and see how our website is doing on a mobile. The first is using Google Developer Tools. It's really easy. All you have to do is cut and paste in your URL. And Google will tell you exactly what's going on on the page. So if you visit the URL at the bottom of this screen, you can go and check that now. Uh, if you pause this video, go and check and then come back to me and I'll show you what to do next. The next step would be to log into Google Analytics. If you log into your Google Analytics interface, you can add a dashboard that easily shows you what's going on on a mobile device. When you're logged into Google Analytics and looking at the left um, hand navigation, you'll see a section called dashboards. And this is going to let you add dashboards to look at any data just at one glimpse without having to click all around the site. So click the plus sign new dashboards and click import from gallery and you're looking to import the site performance dashboard. So type that into the box at the top and press import and it'll bring up a screen to ask you if it's okay if it installs it to which you'll press create and this will give you all of your data just at a glimpse, a, a glimpse on the home page. You'll also want to add a dashboard called the audience overview. So we'll go and do that again and type in audience overview into the search box at the top and press import audience snapshot. And what this is going to do is show us how many people are coming to the site um, and what we can change it to show us what devices they're on. So here where it says all sessions, I want you to add a segment and we're going to look at the sources of where our traffic comes from. So if we type in traffic, we can say I want to see what people on a mobile device are doing. And I also want to see what people on a tablet and desktop device are doing. And what that will do is let us compare the total number of visitors versus the mobile and the desktop ones. So we can get an idea of what percentage of our traffic is coming from what devices. On this particular website it's saying 93% of the traffic is from tablets and desktops and only uh, where is it seven percent roughly is coming from a mobile. But this will let you see firstly what percentage right now is coming from which device and also let you compare a previous date. If you come up to the top of Webmaster Tools and change the date or compare the date to say this time last year, it will we'll let you know what the percentages of traffic on a mobile were like last year versus this year and so on. So here we can see, here we can see that mobile traffic is increasing in traffic overall. Now on a website that wasn't mobile optimized, you'd expect to see a drop in the overall sessions because Google had potentially stopped sending you traffic to a mobile device. So go in, create those two site performance and audience overview dashboards and look at this month versus this time last year and just see if you have more or less traffic. Uh, and this will give you an idea as to whether or not you've been affected by the mobile apocalypse. So what do you do if perhaps your website isn't up to scratch and isn't mobile friendly? Well, if you need help, I told you at the start of this video I was going to tell you where to get it. Uh, we build Shopify websites, where, which are great if you're an e-commerce vendor. It's really easy to get a website up with a responsive template that works on a mobile, a tablet and a desktop. And it has all of the bells and whistles that you need to market your business in 2015 and beyond. If you need help, you can look at the Shopify web development page on our website.
Or if you're a service seller, we also recommend WordPress as it has heaps of responsive templates and if you want to add any sort of marketing functionality, this can be done in a really easy way so you can spend your time working on marketing and growing your business rather than messing around with development. If you've got any questions, be sure to leave a comment below in the box underneath this video on the blog and be sure to sign up to our newsletter if you want to find out about algorithm changes and get updates like these in the future. This is Lucy Ross from e-commerce marketing. I'll see you next time.